Watch you guys got another video on how to fix the black screen after login on Windows 10. Now if you get a black screen of def which it's also known as after you've logged into Windows you just log in and you get this. This is a common problem and I'm going to show you how to fix it. Now I'll try to show you real fixes here so you can see how they work rather than just make a bunch of titles and a bunch of videos and not actually showing you what to do. Uh, most of them will just say run SFC scan now and do this stuff. It's not going to fix the problem. I'll try to show you how to fix it. It's pretty straightforward, uh, but it can be a bit daunting for uh, the beginner user when they see something like this. You can see I've tried to log in here and I'm getting a black screen. Now, sometimes this is mainly related to um, your graphics drivers. Uh, sometimes Windows or Microsoft will drop in a, a, a generic a type of graphics driver and it can't handle it it doesn't like it and let me show you how to resolve it so what we're going to do here is hold the shift key down and then restart once you get to the login screen here so restart the system and hold the shift key down that will be the left shift key and keep holding it down when you reboot this will take us into the recovery area where we can start doing uh, some particular fixes to try and resolve this problem so I'm going to restart the system into the recovery console where it says choose an option. Now I'll show you a better quality image here, but these are the sequences that I did to try to resolve the problem. So we're going to restart the system and we should be now in choose an option. And uh, we're going to go down to troubleshoot and then go to advanced options here. Now the first thing you're going to try obviously is your startup repair. This is quite a common thing. A lot of people try this one and uh, most of the time this won't repair the problem that you've got so I'm just going to try it just to show you and uh, we're going to run this just in case it does fixes a lot of problems for other people so we're just going to go ahead and go through the motions here let me go and uh, it will diagnose the system and try to resolve any sort of startup issues you could have a startup problem and uh, we'll just let that try and resolve the problem now obviously if it doesn't work you'll get this issue here where it says it couldn't find a problem or it couldn't repair the PC. So we're going to go back into the choose an option and go back into troubleshoot then advanced options. Now there's a bunch of options that we're going to try here. We're going to do these startup settings in a moment but the next one what I want to do is do uninstall updates. Now if you've just updated Windows maybe Windows is updated the system in the background and something has changed this can cause a black screen of death or even problems with your system so you can either go in and uninstall the latest quality update or uninstall the latest feature update choose which one that has just been updated in this case I'll go to choose uninstall the latest quality update and this will go into uh, the recovery here and this will allow us to try and remove that update from the system and hopefully roll back the system to a working state before it did that update and this can sometimes resolve the problem so it's just asking me to put in my password which I don't have one and now it will say uninstall quality update so you just go ahead and click on this and it will start to uninstall the latest quality update that was done on the system if that is not where your problem lies then go back into choose an option and then go back into troubleshoot and then go back to advanced options from here you can try a bunch of different things we're going to go to system restore now if you had system restore enabled there will be a system restore point which you can roll back to unfortunately by default system restore has been disabled and you will need to enable that by default so we're not going to use that option but you could use that option if not go back into troubleshoot then advanced options and then go back into startup settings this time around so click on startup settings and then we're going to go into safe mode here so we need to restart our system to enter and enable safe mode so just hit the restart button now you can click on number four or number five i've clicked on number five to enable safe mode with networking and this will just boot up into safe mode so we're just going to let this happen now the good thing about getting into safe mode it means that the system is bootable uh, but it's just something stopping it now this could be a number of different things could be a bad driver uh, could be um, antivirus software running so we're going to go into device manager here and check our graphics card driver first and you can see it does have a Microsoft 
basic driver display adapter which means it's basically their generic driver they just download and install when you install Windows now sometimes this is where the problem can lie so I've got to right click and update and search automatically for updates online and let this check okay now if this doesn't work you can open up a browser and physically download the graphics driver for your graphics card whether it be Nvidia or AMD so go to your uh, browser and then open up the browser and type uh, Google and then we're going to go to Google and do a search for Nvidia on on here so just do a search for Nvidia drivers and you can do the same thing for AMD and I'll show you that in a second so go here go to download uh, drivers for Nvidia and you need to choose your graphics card now you should know what your graphics card is but inside here you can download what type of graphics card you have and then hit the search button and this will allow you to download the very latest drivers whether it be a desktop or a notebook or laptop or anything like that it will allow you to download that driver for that graphics card now also it's AMD drivers you can look for if you've got an AMD uh, graphics card then you'll need to download the latest uh, driver for that AMD graphics card and then install that driver on the system and then reboot once you've rebooted the system it should automatically uh, boot up and you shouldn't get that black screen of death anymore because this is what causes the problem most of the time is a you know bad uh, graphics driver and you can see here you could just choose whatever graphics card you've got okay and this will allow you to download the driver itself you can also download any other drivers that are missing just to make sure it's not a driver related issue and uh, fix and resolve those problems next up we're going to go to control panel and what you're going to do here is uh, remove any type of um, antivirus program or firewalls or anything like that that could be causing a problem they will be listed in your programs and features area here now sometimes you may have two antivirus programs on installed and you might not understand that you can't run two antivirus programs at any one time and that can sometimes cause a black screen of death so you want to remove all of those from the system and try to boot up the system to see whether you get any problems uh, with the boot up sequence once you've done that and hopefully once you've removed those you should be able to boot up to the desktop as normal now remember assuming that your hardware is fully functional and you don't have a problem with your screen uh, then everything should be okay it's going to be related to software or drivers or something like that but if it's a hardware issue then you will have a different scenario okay so you can see here we're going to go into the search box and type MS config this time and what we're going to do here is open up MS config and we're going to perform a clean boot now sometimes when you perform a clean boot it does resolve the issue and you know then there's something wrong with the system so what we're going to do here is go into services and you'll see hide all Microsoft services here so we're just going to hide those and then we're going to go up to the startup tab here open this up and you will have a lot more startup uh, programs inside here and you want to disable all of these inside here okay and the reason why is because these could be causing a problem on boot up and we want to make sure that they're not conflicting with something and causing an issue so you can disable all of those and uh, basically once you've got those done uh, you can go to the general tab and you should see selective startup and we're going to load startup items and take the tick out of there and just leave it as load system services here apply this and OK and then reboot the system and then what will happen is it will do perform a clean boot and hopefully you'll find out whether there's a problem uh, with your system so what we're going to do is test that and hopefully that will get you to the desktop and that should then hopefully resolve your problem if it doesn't go back into choose an option a troubleshoot and you'll see reset this PC after you've tried everything possible you can go into keep my files and basically this will reinstall Windows you might have a corrupt operating system somewhere or something like that so you can go in here and you'll see reset this PC it will remove all the apps and programs that didn't come with a PC change settings back to their defaults and reinstall Windows without removing your personal files 
it's always best that you do back up your data before you do anything like reset this PC because something could go wrong and you could end up losing all your data. So always back up your system before running any of these sort of uh, fixes. But basically, as you can see here, this is going to go and reset the PC and hopefully resolve the problem that you may be having. But other than that, most of those fixes that you've done before that, which is normally a bad drivers, uh, graphics driver issues, or it will be um, updates, Windows updates. That's another common issue. It could be also anti-malware program or something like that that's starting. Because remember, you're actually seeing the display because you're getting to the login screen. And then after the fact, you're logging in and then you're getting the black screen of theft. So it's going to be one of those things that's causing uh, that problem. OK, if the screen was completely black after post, um, then you would have some other issues. But if it's black completely at the beginning, when you turn it on, the power's on and it's completely black, then you're talking about other problems as well, which we can cover in other videos. But other than that, that's basically how you can fix and resolve uh, the black screen of death or black screen after you log in to Windows updates. Now, this also could be after you've done a Windows update, you could end up with this problem, which is a common thing for Windows 10 users you get a black screen after an update and this is what you'll need to do. You need to follow this video and go in and remove and uninstall that update and roll back, whether it be a feature or one of other types of updates. It gives you the option to do that there, as you've seen in the video. Anyway, hope this one helps you out and resolves your problem. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Have a great day and I shall see you again for another video tomorrow. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.